Hello everybody, welcome to the Geeks Handbag coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. So, Hero Collector have just launched a brand new wave of Dot2 t-shirts, two of which arrived on my doorstep this morning, very nice they are too, along with a load of new pin badges and you know how much I love a badge. They've done one for each doctor. So, let's take a look at them. So, pin badges of all the Doctors, including the War Doctor, and they all come individually wrapped on these little card backing. So, let's start by taking a look at the original Doctor, the first Doctor. So, the first Doctor, hmm? So, let's set him free from his packaging. He looks really cool. Um, they obviously come with these pin backings, which is good. There. So, turning him around, uh, the packaging's really nice. I love the fact that on the card backing they come on, they've put the individual console room for each Doctor, so that's the first Doctor's console room. The badge itself looks awesome. So just taking him off his backing for a second so we can have a look at him. Each one of these is made of metal, so they feel really thick and solid. And there's a surprising amount of detail on there, actually, considering the size of it. So he's got his little monocle and walking stick, and you can clearly see his little bow cravatty thing. Yeah, it's a really nice quality badge, and obviously you've got the pin on the back there. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's the first Doctor. Let's take a look at the rest. Jimmy Zoe, yes, it's the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton. A nice little badge of him with his checkered trousers and bow tie. Ah, Mr. Pertwee with his flowing cape. And you can see what I mean about the console room. So if you compare that to the first Doctors on there, you can see that this one they've given the unusually the pudding bowl exterior that the third Doctor had. So that's a really nice touch. Ah. The fourth Doctor, Mr. Baker, with his big old hair and scarf. He looks cool. Ah, oh, the genteel fifth Doctor. And he's got the crossover fourth Doctor console there. He looks good. Have they managed to get the celery on there? I think they have, actually. Amazing. And then over to the sixth Doctor. And he's got one of my favourite console rooms on his back in uh, the fifth Doctor console room. So he looks good. Hello, old sixy. Hope you're good. This one could be one of my favourites. It's the Seventh Doctor. I love McCoy. Uh, he's got the favourite console room as well. Oh, he looks a little sad. Why is he sad? And obviously he's got the stone beige jacket on rather than the brown. But I actually prefer that, although I think I'm in the minority. And here he is, the Eighth Doctor. Yes, the one I was expecting, uh, wearing the outfit he wore uh, in the Night of the Doctor. He looks cool as well. So I guess we should go from him to the war doctor um he's awesome i really like this one uh, just like his little goatee beard i think he looks great and they've given him the console rune that we saw in day of the doctor so that's nice right on to a oh fantastic it's the ninth doctor uh, christopher eccleston that's very cool and then on to a rather grumpy looking 10 why is he so angry? I wonder. Has Rose said something? Oh, it possibly. Uh, yeah, very angry temp doctor. 11, Matt Smith. I'd have thought he'd have had his Sonic uh, in hand, but no, he hasn't actually. He's got his big floppy fringe though, so very 11th doctor. And bow tie, of course. And a surprisingly happy 12th doctor. You'd have thought actually out of the two, uh, they should have put the grumpy face on the 12th Doctor, I think. But yeah, he looks happy. Maybe that's uh, Series 10, 12th Doctor, when he was a little bit happier with life. And obviously the console room. And then bring, bringing us bang up to date, we got Geordie, the 13th Doctor, uh, with her console room. And actually, I adore this badge. I think that looks super cute, dare I say it. Yeah, I really do like that. So there they all are, and you might have a favourite. I particularly like the First Doctor, the War Doctor, and the 13th. I think they look fantastic, but you might be like me and just want to get them all. So these retail for $5.99 each, but it's always worth checking the Eagle Moss Hero Collector website because they often do special offers. In fact, at the time of recording this, they are slightly reduced. And as well as my lovely pin badges, I also received delivery of two nice t-shirts from the new Hero Collector range. So I've got a Tomb of the Cybermen one and Genesis of the Daleks. So let's take a look at those. 
So look at this, absolutely stunning. So it's a design by artist Ryan Hughes, obviously the cyber symbol surrounded by alien symbols, just looks stunning. And then it's got Tomb of the Cybermen written at the bottom, an absolutely gorgeous t-shirt. And this little tag that you would normally just tear off and throw away actually has some nice info inside. So it tells you about the Tomb of the Cybermen, the story itself, which I absolutely love. And there's a little bit there about the artist Ryan Hughes. If I told you that you could buy a Genesis of the Daleks t-shirt and rule the galaxy, would you do it? Yes, I would. Wow, that is such an awesome design. I love that. Genesis of the Daleks is such a classic story. This one also has a nice little tag on it. I consider Genesis the Daleks to be an absolute classic and Adrian Salmon, the artist, apparently he's been an illustrator for over 25 years, worked on Dot2 magazine and what I really like is they put their signatures at the bottom of the card as well so yeah just a nice little touch. So the t-shirts are $19.99 each which at first may sound a tad expensive but they genuinely are really nice quality t-shirts. The designs themselves are really unique and they've been printed on really nicely as well in really thick print so they really stand out. I think they look absolutely stunning. So all of this and more is available from the Eagle Moss Hero Collector website and I will put a link in the description. So there you have it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do comment below and let me know which badge or t-shirt you like the best. Maybe you like the one I'm wearing, which is also part of that range. Anyway, until the next time, do follow The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember, I also do a weekly Dot2 podcast with Gary that goes at every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast, so do give that a listen. But until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye! <laughs>